Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen, Flores Alba here, and welcome back, welcome to Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Now this is going to be a special stream, where I will be uh, playing these three games two hours each. So I'll be going live for a whopping six hours, which is something that you don't really see me doing that much, only on special occasions. But here we are. So... I made a poll earlier today, and the question was, which game would you guys like me to start off first with a whopping 4-0-1 to zero to one in a near-perfect victory? Super Mario 64 was the game that won out with four votes, with Galaxy getting one vote, and Sunshine literally getting none. <laughs> but... To make it fair for everybody, we're going to be going from... So the gist was, whichever game I played that had the most votes, I would play that, and we'd be going left uh, with the game. Well, going right with the games. So we're going to be starting with, since it did win out in the end, we're going to start off with Mario 64, then Sunshine, and then Galaxy. For two full hours. For each game. Now... I want to go on record to say that I have never played Sunshine nor Galaxy before. Well, I did when when I first got this, but I haven't played this at all since then. But yeah, so here we are. So for Super Mario 64, I will be playing just my favorite stars from that, and hopefully that leads to um, two hours worth of content. Uh, but if not, then, uh, <laughs> I guess we'll just be doing, doing some little bit of stuff there to pass out the time. But for now, we're going right straight into Super Mario 64. This is the Shindo version, unlike the version that we have on NSO. It's me, Mario! Hello! And I will say, I do have a bit of a cold. But not one to worry about. I am honestly forgot that I had a hundred stars here. <laughs> Man, I'm... Dude, that moment when you haven't... When you played this game for so long, and you had no idea. You had no idea how many you had here. So I will be playing all... But to make things go... It, make things go for the two hours. I will be playing all of the Bowser levels as well, just to make things interesting. So let's go ahead and play what I consider one of my favorite stars in the game. So, in the order of courses, that's how we're doing this. So with course one, I would say... I would say my favorite... I have two favorites here. The first one is Big bob -omb on the Summit. And then Foot Race with Koopa the Quick. Out of all the courses on this track. Oh jeez, that was a... Oh! Yeah, just know so this thing doesn't try to come at me. Oh, that was close. Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna go the long way, because why not? Besides, I need some health at addition. Whoa! That bomb came out of nowhere.
Hey, let's go. Okay, I had to make sure I knew what the controls were. Oh, There it is. Oops. I so you should be good now. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Press the wrong button. God dang it. Did I quit missing him on the final one? Okay. Hey, Sebastian, how you doing tonight? I will go on right Oh, yeah, by the way, in case anybody's wondering, boy, you're doing this like two, almost three weeks since this happened, since he announced it. What gives? Well, to put it simply, I didn't do it on the week of because I already had my schedule planned out for that week. And I meant to do it last week, but I forgot about it uh, somehow. I just ended up forgot forgetting about it. And now that's why I'm doing it now. So that way I didn't forget about it. <laughs> Yeah, so what I'm doing here is just playing my favorite levels of this game and then just playing the first two hours of uh, Mario Sunshine and Galaxy. Here we go. <laughs> and now for my other favorite song of this one, Foot Races Koopa the Quick. Such an easy race, this one. But you gotta be careful though. If you're gonna do this race, do not go for the cannons. Hmm. I was going to say, where are the cannonballs at? Because they usually still have them out with the, even in this race. Oh, that was close. Oh, there he is. I can just barely see this boy.
Alright. Now we're going into my so into the second world. Let's see what stars they have here. Because of course I'm not going for the 100 coin stars at all. I'm just gonna go for the stars that we got here. So I would say. I would say levels star one through five would be my favorite ones here. Cause well, cause star two is basically star one, but instead of dealing with the boss level, you're dealing with the uh, you're dealing with the uh, oh, I almost died there. Hey, I got the piranha. Now, I remember this thing used to give me so much trouble. <clears throat> Trying to get through that flow when I was playing this originally. If I remember correctly. Oh, it's still there. Okay. So, that's a very easy glitch to go through. <clears throat> that's a very easy glitch. All you gotta do is just jump as he's going down and then hit the ground pound before he goes too far down. And there you go. Oh, all right, I'll show you how to do it the proper way. Come on. All right. I'll even show you the alternative way of doing it. This is the easier way of doing it. If you don't want to go through that long way, you can always go through here. And I press the wrong button. Yeah, that, see what I mean? That part, that part can be problematic sometimes, I'm telling you. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck was that? One thing I do remember this is that I used to play this when I had that one uh, other broken when that one other switch controller, and I played it so much that my controller broke. My con I it suffered through Joy-Con drift because I was playing it that much. you gotta do oh what the heck That's how you do it. Yeah, I did it. There we go. I did it! 
both the glitchy way and the regular the way you're intended to do it. So now nobody can try to go off on me later. <laughs> Alright. I go back into this star. Into this level, not the star. I'm gonna get what I think is one of my favorite star my other favorite star in this level. Fall onto the cage diamond. Now you technically have two ways of doing this. I would do it the easy way. That being the owl. This is the intended way you're supposed to get it. Oh, oh, I'm, oh wait. I forgot I'm supposed to hold it down. Too bad they don't play that one music though. Wow, first try after near not getting it the right the first time. And now for the other way. This is a way that I've seen speedrunners do on this one, but I am not a speedrunner. <laughs> There's a back down this way to get it. So what you're supposed to, what you can also do, oh come on, I didn't even, I oh, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Oh, what? <laughs> I never knew you could have... <laughs> I never knew you could actually do that. I thought they would be like a little bit too difficult for you to climb up to the top of, but all right then. All right, so now. I needed that. Oh, Forrest, slow your roll a little bit there, buddy. Forrest, slow the roll down a little bit. Maybe that'd be nice for you, wouldn't it? Now then, let's try this again. Yeah, I, I'm, I said the speedrunners do it. I didn't say I was a speedrunner. <laughs> so what I know they do is where they uh, go up there. So what they're supposed to do is... Uh, I know what they gotta do here. They gotta do a triple jump there. So it's gotta be something like this. Uh. <laughs> ah! Dang it, I missed! I was... I missed! Right idea, but I missed it. Can I, as I said before, I want to reiterate the fact that I am not a speedrunner, but I do know of this speedrunning tactic. 
and I'm actually. <laughs> Boom. See, I didn't, couldn't do it, but yeah, at least I tried. That's how you do it, but it's all pure luck. And skill. At least I gave it a good shot. Are you also doing Sunshine and Galaxy? Hey, Bullet Bill, how you doing tonight? And yes, I will be. Now, I need to... I can't see where this thing is at. It won't let me see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> that works. Yeah, like I said earlier in the stream, I'll be doing two hours all three games. So it'll be a combined six hours. So yeah. Galaxy is one of the best in gaming history in my opinion. Yeah, I, I could see that. Like, yeah, I never played like I never played Galaxy, but I've seen so many game so much gameplay of it that I'm like, you know, this is actually really cool. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm gonna be doing all the secret slides in these game in this game as well. Just in, just in case we don't have the two hours. Let's see if we can go for 21 seconds. And no, I'm not doing the shortcut. Because I don't know where it, where it can be done. And I don't want to risk having to restart everything. Could do the BRJ on the N64 version, but sadly they patched it. And yeah. Oh, are you talking about the uh, Bowser battle? The final Bowser battle? If I have enough stars to get up to that castle, I don't need to do the BRJ. And even then, I don't know if I would be able to do it right. Uh, BRJ. Yeah, I know what the BRJ is. Backwards long jump. Pretty much, long story short, as I don't know what it is. You gotta do is you gotta... Okay, don't do that. What you gotta do is you do this. That is the BLJ. That is the backwards long jump. You take the forward jump. Yeah, that's what you do. You duck. Do the button for the to go for the forward long jump, and you pull the back the control stick dip down. Now, for my favorite missions in this game, you actually have. Three of them, actually. The the very first three, but so that way we can do both of them. Yeah, strap was broken on the N64. Yeah, it was. So I want to do the big penguin race because it is technically one and three together. And but first we're gonna do Will Penguin Lost. So for this mission, you have two different uh, little birds. 
You have this baby penguin and the other baby penguin. And before anybody asks, no, I am not going to be the monster that people love trying to be in this game and drop this little baby penguin off the, sh off the side of the cliff. I am no, I am not a monster. What kind of, what kind of monster do you take me for? No, I'm not doing that. Uh, the baby penguin has a proper name. Tuxy. Oh, Tuxy, huh? Tuxy, Tuxy. Either way. Yeah, there's a reason why this one is here for the reason there. I was surprised I managed to get by that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and uh... I gotta get that baby penguin because I think if it falls... Yeah, it, we might have to worry about getting it later. <laughs> oh, but I will show this, though. If you take the baby, Mama Penguin will be mad at you, bro. Surprisingly, she don't attack you or nothing. Alright, alright, there you go. I I'll, I'll stop messing with your baby. Let's just take the star. We're not gonna be the mean-spirited people that love to drop that baby off the cliff. Anybody that does that, you're a monster, okay? You're, you're all a monster if you do that. Because how dare you do that to a mama penguin? How dare you do that to the mama penguin after she's was so worried about a baby? I can't believe anybody would be that sick and that dark. Whoa, and I'm almost. I am missing the chimney. Now we're gonna erase this baby, big penguin. I'll read that comment after I'm done with this race. Oh, I'll read it right now. Am I a moderator for dismounting Yoshi to save my own life? Or am I a monster? Oh. <laughs> I read that wrong. Sorry. Am I a monster for dismounting Yoshi to save my own life? Well, I mean... Um... That's a bit of a gray area, isn't it? <laughs> that's a bit of a gray area. If you're doing it, just be... Now, how about this, all right? So, there are risks that have to be taken. Lives are going to be lost in the world of Mario sometimes. That's how it is. Uh, if you did it just because you had to save yourself, I will accept that. But if you did it just because you can do it, then you are definitely a monster. I mean, of course, though, sometimes lives have to be lost to save... Uh, to sa oh, crap. That, pe that penguin is right on me. Ah, shoot. Ah, uh, that's one. Uh. Oh, come on, really? If I actually died in this freaking penguin... Like, this is actually... This is one of my favorite missions because I love racing. I need to stop dying on this freaking bird. I need to stop dying to this freaking bird. That freaking bird was not giving me it. Was like, move out of my way, fatso. Oh, I need ow. Boy, you squash me against the wall! How dare you? Un referee, referees, you see, you see this, right? That was un that was unnecessary roughness, unsportsmanlike conduct. We all saw that, right? Yeah, we did. <laughs> he pinned me against the wall after I bit after I bested him in this race. That is unsportsmanlike conduct. 
<laughs> Alright, so that's all for this mission. Now for the mission, now for the star that has my absolute, one of my absolute favorite pieces of music in this game. We all know what it is. Outside of the staff credit roll, we all know what it is. Okay, I'm actually going to the wrong one. I'm actually going in the wrong room. It's right here. Everybody knows this one. Wait. I never got that star, really? Huh. Well then. I guess I'll be doing that mission then, I guess. Uh, we got, uh... So I want to say my favorite ones are probably going to be Treasure of the Ocean Cave. And I'll do through the jet stream just to make it simple on the fact that uh, I've been doing two stars on each mission. So easy. <laughs> Wait, do I even have the star I needed to uh, get this one? Do I have the uh, necessary item for this mission? So if I don't, then I honestly. Oh, I do actually. Alright. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? The, uh, the eel. I actually remember playing this game one time. That eel actually did scare the crap out of me. <laughs> it just happened to appear out of nowhere. And then just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Even as an adult, that eel can sometimes be terrifying for everybody. So if anybody is still scared of the eel to this day, I feel your pain. Oh jeez, that... Here we go, got it. Here we go. Cause I think I've gotten all the... As I was saying before I got rudely interrupted by the screen telling me to reconnect. Now that we got all of them, we're gonna go into the first Bowser battle. Another level... Oh, that's so we need that again. Yeah, I'm being quiet because I love this music. It's so epic! That was one of the most epic boss battles I've boss battle music ever. 
And I say one of the most epic because I know there are other boss battle music pieces that are also just that are just as epic than this game than this game if not alongside it. Can I get away from that freaking ice circle? Thank you very much. Ah, oh, what the f Really? Really? Alright then. Alright, I see how we're playing this. Oh, I'm surprised I did not get hit by the fire there. Oh, I almost hit that Goomba the way I wasn't supposed to be. Forest, why did you go that whole way around with you? Oops. Okay, let's try that again. First boss battle. With Bowser. Basically Bowser telling us he's got the princess. Good luck trying to swing him with by his tail. There we go. Ha. Hey, Lucy, how you doing today? How you doing tonight? Alright, so now that we got that key, we could technically we got got to be realistic sometimes. And then we got the key, we can go back here. So yeah, we got the boo over there, but I don't really like that level too much, so we're not gonna play it. We do have a number of other levels here. In this we do have some missions here. These are where the levels start getting to where I don't really care for them with, with most of the stars, but I can still do them. 
So we're starting with the Lethal Lava Land. Uh, for this one, I would say... I would say the Boil the Big Bully and Hot Foot Into the Volcano are my favorite missions in this one. But not entirely my favorite. But they're so good. Levels as far as what we got here. Oh, come on. Dang it. I messed up that one time. Oh, I can't believe I dodged that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
No! Oh my god! 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 This is so. Ah, oh, man. Hey, Epic Maluja, how are you doing tonight? Yeah, I, I saw you there. I was just focused on that. I was just focused on that. I'm getting out of there before I get too upset about it. We're getting out. We're moving on. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go for... I'm gonna go for the first and final star in this new mission. So the first one involves going into the basement. I gotta remember where that is because it has been a while since I last played this level. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think it's actually, uh... Yeah, we'll just do this one then, I guess. I hate this. I think actually what I'm looking for is actually over here. <laughs> nice shortcut, Forrest! <laughs> <clears throat> because I think what I'm looking for is actually right here. Yeah, it's right here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> and now for the other favorite star. Just because it's so easy compared to all the other missions in this in this level. So easy compared to the other missions in this level.
There he is. All right, we're just moving right along. Actually, about an hour into this. All right, nice. That's actually really nice. And now for my only favorite star in in the um, in the uh, what is it? The desert level. Dry, dry desert. <coughs> This, well, honestly, both both of my favorite stars involve this this uh, star here. The only problem is I can only show one off because I don't want to show the other one in the fear that I might die. Yeah, great job, Forrest. You weren't paying attention, were you? Oh, well. I'm getting this, though, so I don't really care. I wasn't trying to know for that, but all right. If that would have messed me up, I would have been so mad. <laughs> So, getting atop the pyramid is uh, actually a lot easier than you think it is. What you gotta do is, oh, one thing, you gotta be careful of this thing whenever it comes down. So, what you do for the first bit is you uh, not do that. Do this though. <laughs> Just jump like you normally would across those two platforms. And then you do this, but be sure to avoid this electro shocker. Jump across that, but be careful not only to fall, but to also be careful to uh. Oh, I'm surprised I did not get hit by that. Climb up across this. Hold the A button, because if you don't, you'll let go and you'll sign on to that. And that'll be a disaster waiting to happen. <coughs> Whoa! Close encounters of the rolling kind over here, man. Technically, you could climb over that, but if you want to play it safe, this area is right here open for you. In case you're not feeling rip daredevilish, in which case I'm not gonna judge you. If you don't want to be a daredevil, you don't have to be a daredevil. What matters is you just get up to the star, and that's all that matters. If I could quit hugging the wall, that'd be nice, man.
Oh, oh what are these things? The homing, homing electrodes or something? Because that's what it seems like. Ow. Well, they do have an extra way of doing this, because when you fall through that hole where this cage is at, you can actually jump off of this to get to this. But as you guys know, I am not a speedrunner, and I don't really feel that much of a daredevil to do it. <laughs> now, the other star is, very e is another favorite, and that's the boss battle of the level. But I, I cho I'm choosing not to do it right now because I don't have the life, num the life number to do it. I mean, technically, yeah, I could actually do it if I wanted to, but eh. Oh, wait. Well, you know what? Let's see, where are we at? We're at almost an hour. So we're going to go up to the top floor. Because, again, I don't really want... Well, I mean, technically... Jeez, the background noise is crazy, I'm telling you. But the reason why I have my door open is just because of... Uh, if I don't have it open, internet sometimes likes to mess with me here. So now... For these missions. I would say... I'm going to shut the door now. Because that's getting kind of it getting kind of mad for me so really I, I i would honestly say this is a pretty fun level in my opinion but for the sake of uh time here i would say one of my personal favorites would have to be uh I need to increase the water level. <laughs> I need to increase the water level. Yeah, I needed to increase the water level. Let's try it this way then, yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah. I'm pretty sure I could actually do this way if I timed the jumps right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh no. Ow! Face first into that plank! No! Dang it! <laughs> At this point, I'm starting to think this level hates me. Oh, no, you won't. Oh, my God, I was such a pain in the bum. So now, what I'm going to do is go downtown, but in order for me to do that, So remember, it's over there. Oh, interesting there. Yeah. Oh. 
people. There we go, finally. Did not involve me having to uh, fall down. I'm not losing any lives doing this, but I'm losing a lot of time.
Yeah, that's why I remember it's too much, please. And I could be wrong, but I believe I'm right here. Eh, I don't really care. We're just getting out of here since I am not doing this. Alright. So now, on to this area. Snowman's Land. Snowman Land. Not my favorite track. Not my favorite course out of them all. If I had to say my favorite ones, I would say... I want to say chill with the big, with the bully. For one. This contest is to the, is by way of this fly guy trying not to knock me down. So I'm going to destroy it before I can. Introducing first in the ring. Whoa! Fucking bully being a heel wrestler over here. Good lord. Anyway, introducing first in the ring. He hails from this land of snowman. The Chili Bully. And his opponent from Mushroomland, Mario! I just want this dude is all like. Oh, Mario gets the first hit. And I lost. Here is your winner, the ch Chili Bully. You bested me this time. But one thing I don't, but one thing I will not stand, I will not rest until I defeated you. And I got like 45 minutes if my math is correct, because it's 75 minutes on here. It said I have seven, it's on 75 minutes, so I believe I have. 45 minutes left before the two hour mark. <coughs> and if I have to do this for the remainder of the two hours, so be it. Oh gosh. Oh, 
Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> yeah, this chili bully giving me a run for my money compared to the other three little bullies that were there from the other from the other time. From that uh, lethal lava land. Oh, you're a flipper, bro. Ah, ah, this freaking boss man! <laughs> this is that way it makes sense I'm going after this mission here. <laughs> How did I do that? I'm an idiot. Oh, for f he didn't even do anything to me on that one. What the heck? He did not even do anything to me on that one, and yet that's still. Okay, okay, I got you, I got you. All right. Oh my god! This... This... One... Enemy! I'm making it so hard, yet it's such an easy boss, though. As long as you know what you're doing and where you're at on the... On the... See, it's so easy. Once you know where, he, once you know what you're doing, it's so easy. <coughs> and now for the other mission. 
because I'm getting kind of fed up with the bone shiz right now. I just want to go for the easiest mission over here. Right here. So easy, boom. So easy, a caveman can do it. Once they've mastered the controls of the game, it'd be so easy a caveman could do it. <clears throat> Alright. Time for Tiny Huge Island. Or Tall Tall Mountain, actually, my bad. So, favorite missions from this level. Scale the mountain, obviously. For one. Well, let's try that again, shall we? Oh, that's great. Ay, 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 I'm telling you, man. Oh my, I'm supposed to scale the mountain, but what I'm doing is downscaling it. I am literally downscaling the mountain after I just climb up to it a little bit. Yeah, I don't trust this monkey. Man, I wish I could ground pound you because you're annoying the heck out of me, man. No, uh. I literally just had it and I fall as soon as I get it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, finally. Jeez, that was annoying. Uh, here we go. There we go. Because it is in this level, we got we are forced to do this one star that's here. And the only question is, can I get to it? Whoa, whoa! I somehow survived that and I have no idea how. See, it's so easy. They make it look so easy sometimes. It's just a matter of trying to get to it that can be problematic. Alright. I can't... Wait, is it... Is it not... Oh, it's over here, that's why. I was looking at the wrong... Oh, I was looking at the wrong one. Huh. Yeah, fine then, we'll just... <laughs> so we got about 30 minutes. Hmm. You know what? I feel confident right now. Because right, cause honestly, I don't really care for Tiny Huge Island. Nor very much the other stars up here. So, alright, we're just gonna go right straight into the Bowser battle. Because why the heck not? Will I get it on my first try? Most likely not, because this is me we're talking about here. I know y'all are thinking, uh, why didn't you go for the second Bowser battle? Because I don't really want to go for it. And no, we're not going for the, uh...
Yeah, you can actually either go the wrong way or go this way. Most people prefer going this way because there's nothing over there for you to worry about, I don't think. At least speedrunners go do this as well. I'm not going for the red coins, because obviously... Oh, I was so lucky. That was luck right there, bro. Actually, I got there. I didn't touch those then. your way then. I'll play your way then for the moment. It dropped me literally all the way back to the beginning, man. I didn't suffer any damage this time. But I almost fell off the thing again.
Yeah, I don't trust those uh, coins because they are too far out for me to for my liking. Kidding me. Oh my god. Oh my god, bruh. Uh, yeah, that pretty much explains my experience on that level. Going from point A to point B, but I've been going down instead of up like I should have been. Now can we actually get through this this time without messing it up again? for later. Gonna get that out of there. This is the farthest we've gotten up to this point. Can we not mess it up this time, please? Because we were right near the end, too, at one point, and it was like, no. Alright. Final battle. Final battle. Got 20 minutes.
see these three colors I'm gonna go for. Them. I had a f I knew that was gonna happen. Finally! Close, but not yet, not yet there. Oh, you missed. Oh, like I I'm missing it so much, it's not even funny, man. Ah, oh, dang it! Ah, I was trying to backflip. I was trying to backflip. I was trying to backflip. <laughs> it wouldn't let me do it. <laughs> uh, I was so close. It's always that one hit. It's always that final hit.
Ah, missed. Jumping into that. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. Oh, hold on a second. Three, two, one. I am just going one step or two late. I was gonna say, Bowser, we could keep running around in circles all night. I got, I got the time. I would like to end it on the note of beating Bowser in the last few minutes that I have before I'm switching over to uh, Sunshine.
Saving those just in case I fall down again. Get that out of my way. So close. Oh, not today, anyway. Uh uh. Oh, I was so close. Yo, Forrest, slow your roll right over there, buddy. So I got technically five lives.
He doesn't want to play by my rules. He wants to play on his own. <laughs> that was just a lucky shot on my end, bro. Come on, Bowser. Surprised that actually counted. I'm either over or I'm under. There's no gray area. <laughs> One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
<coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What? If I'm not overshooting it, I'm undershooting it. If I'm not undershooting it, I'm overshooting it. What the heck? Can I get in the middle, please? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? God dang it. Ah. I'll give it one more shot and then move it over to sunshine. I'll give it one more shot and then I'll move it over to sunshine. <coughs> <coughs> Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. He would fall down there. Why wouldn't he? I was gonna say that better counted.
What if we're doing this if I have to keep going? I did it again. I over. I undershot it that time. Ah. Yeah, we're moving on. <laughs> ah, man, I was so close to getting that too. Oh well. Oh well. We're moving on to Super Mario Sunshine. We do have seven languages here. We got English, British English, as I like to call it, French, Dutch, Espanol, it is Spanish, I guess, Italian, and Japanese. Because why not? So let's try to stick with the, with our name. Here we go with Super Mario Sunshine. So we go on this for two hours. Nintendo. Nintendo presents Super Mario Sunshine. Ha <laughs> ha! 
the Sun Prince Tropical Paradise of Lyle Del Pino. We're so pleased to welcome you to our beautiful home. Come enjoy a natural wonderland to which we've added the world's finest resort facilities, a spectacular amusement park, and succulent seafood. Whoa. This and more await you on Lyle Del Pino. Come relax and let us refresh your body and spirit. Oh, what's going on over there in the background? Concerned with the well being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mari, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. <laughs> Alright. Well, you'll be careful. I have a bad feeling about this. Master Mario, remember the B button is key. Use it to show me some of those famous jumps. Don't worry, Mario. We'll watch over the princess. Please go and get help. We came all this way and now look. Everything's spoiled. Oh, this is the worst. Mario, please go and get some help. Oh, what's up? <laughs> I did not mean to jump on that yellow dome. Ick, Mario. It's all goopy. It looks like this gunk is coming from somewhere below. It's really slippery, so watch your step. That goop looks dangerous. I wouldn't touch it, Mario. If you get some money, you get in the water and do the spin jump. Quickly move the left stick in a circle and jump. That's what they mean by the circle jump. Welcome to Io Delfino! Step right up and give yourself a free tourist map! Press the L button to begin your map! What's this water chester here? Huh? Have we met somewhere before? I feel like I've seen you somewhere. And recently too. Help? Help you? Are you crazy? We're the ones who need help! Take that water pump and clean the airship, you... You! And we've got Flood! Power up complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from Gab Science Incorporated. Preparing to register customer information. Scanning and classifying subject data. 
Subject identified as Mario, resident of the Mushroom Kingdom, data storage complete. I am Flood, a flash liquidizer ultra dowsing device. I hope to be of assistance. Alright. Proceeding with user instruction. <coughs> Use the button to shoot water. Is Obviously. The R or Z R button. No, I think we got it. Can I, uh... <coughs> 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 I personally do not like inverted controls. Oh, I just realized I'm getting that one code wet. Thought I was a butter. Hey, hang on. It's you. This this whole mess is your fault. There we go. So yeah, instead of stars in this game, we are collecting shine sprites. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Yeah, we're just Yeah, we're I'm gonna be deleting that anyway, so it don't even matter.
Now here comes one of the dumbest parts of this whole game, if I'm being honest. He's now in session. As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some pink like substance. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home and, yes, endangering our very way of life. Indeed, <laughs> will not be aware of what is going on. So it is daytime in Delfino Plaza. Our poor residents tremble beneath the veil of darkness. Expert shine scholars have determined that this darkness has arisen because all of our guardians, the shine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the shine gate. The reason is quite obvious. This horrible graffiti is to blame. Behold this sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness descriptions. The truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario. Objection! Overruled. I judge the defendant guilty as charged. Oh, wow. I the defendant to clean this entire island. Until Isle Delfino is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. Court adjourned. This is a messed up court system. I mean, you're literally just, it's like what? You're just automatically guilty no matter what you do? No matter what you're guilty, like, even if you did not commit a crime, if you were accused of it, you're instantly guilty? That's some bull crap. That's just plain stupid. No, but I do want to point out real quick. First and foremost, the fact that Mario does not even get a chance to defend himself in the wake of even such a very not-so-good incident like this, even though we all know that he is innocent of it, but they don't want to hear his explanation. They just want to find somebody guilty. It's like the... Um, <coughs> it's like those th that situation where someone just had to be blamed... But at the same time, it's like, dude, don't blame just the person that you believe is guilty. you got to find the actual perpetrator. You can't just say, well, he looks like Mario, so it must be Mario. That's not how this shit works. Damn, they, these guys are backwards with their uh, court system. Jeez. Are you though? So that's our first part. Wow, you're safe. What a relief. This vacation is crazy. The princess is waiting for you just up ahead. Well, 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 if it isn't you, you have that tourist map? Can I tell you to press the L button to view that thing? What's this now? That mustache, that red cap. You look just like the villain in the water posters. You can't, you're the one writing them on all the walls. You listen to me. Clear it all up. Now, hooligan. Yeah, I just cleaned up your attitude. How do you like them apples? Hey there, you don't look so good. It's like, well, it's like disasters run all over your face, you know. What's that? Are well, you having a disaster? Oh, right. Hey, if it isn't the bad mustache man, just because you're cleaning up the town, 
That doesn't mean you're clean with me. Oh, really? Well, I'm happy with that. In the hot sun, you need something even hotter to cool off. <laughs> Try these fresh red peppers. Oh, who am I kidding? And this says these peppers are totally unappetizing. Really? Everyone outside loves to do the box breaker. Just jump up and press the ZL button above the box. Cause smash! Why don't you give it a try? That's basically brown pound. I just heard a yell from the square. What happened? I don't know. Let's see. Well, I'm pleased to see you're safe. I must tell you. We were walking around down earlier and... It seems the area near the shrine gate is still quite bright. Perhaps you should check it out, Master Mario. Oh, Mario, you're okay after all. I just knew you would be. <coughs> oh, so we got our... Looks so like we got ourselves a, some chocolate... Some chocolate and vanilla melted ice cream over there, I guess. And why is the sky so dark, though? It's not sun-drenched. This is totally my idea of a relaxing vacation, Mario. I want to go home right now. Well, we're stuck here until s somebody, a.k.a. me, has to... And there's that. <coughs> but this happened to be the Mario you guys are looking for? Oh, what the heck, bro? Why you gotta be like that to the princess, man? Where did it go?
Where did they go? I didn't. I don't see him. What the heck was that? Can <laughs> uh, I get out of the water, please? I can't get out of the water! What do I at least get at least one star here? Oh, that's... Oh, okay.
Finally. So because I'm actually running out of, uh, running out of, running out of battery, I'm gonna do one level, one star here for Beyond Hills, and then I'm going over to, um, Mario Galaxy. That's where you are, on the other side of that area. Yeah, okay then. Oh, I can't go up there. Wait, actually, I kind of can here. If I actually know how to. Ow! That hurt why you fell, you dick. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ow! Shit, that scared me. Do we really have to go right through Maya's chest to see that? Down with Petey Piranha. Everybody knows this boss battle. This time we're going right straight to the windmill. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh. Yeah, this is going into slow gameplay. I know not very many people are in this slow gameplay, but that's just what it be like sometimes. Let's try this again, shall we? Oh yeah, it's so nice to have a nice camera system compared to 64, but the camera is a bit more fixed, whereas here it's all over the place. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, that's pretty much what this boss battle goes into. That's an hour and a half. We're at an hour and a half right now of this game. So in about 30 minutes, I will be going over to uh, Mario, Super Mario Galaxy. So now it's telling us to go over here with this area. So that's what we're going to do. Real quick. over here. How many of these guys are we going to keep dealing with this whole time, eh? So now we're going to be introduced to this, this house. We're not going to go over there. <laughs> oh, sorry Toad. Didn't mean to jump on your head like that, bro. Sorry. Bianco Hills, the Hillside Cave Secret. Oh, I think I know where this is going to go. Yep. Going to go right over into that area now. Buddy, I hope you're happy now. It's not that one, it just happens to... Wait, is it that one? Wasn't it that one? Oh, 
Uh, he's doing this. The swimming mechanics are not good for me. Oh, that, that tells me. All right. Have I allowed in? Come on, just let me in. Come on. Ah, tough crowd. Uh, Alright then. We'll go ahead and. Uh, we'll go ahead and play some Mario Galaxy. What time is it anyway? Alright. <laughs> we'll play some Mario Galaxy because, quite frankly, Mario Sunshine might be a good game for me to play uh, in the summertime next year. But for now, I'll just go with uh, playing Mario Galaxy. A game that so many people have told me is one of, if not the best Mario games of all time. <laughs> so yeah, I already... Uh, 
when you finish Galaxy today. I'm not gonna be, this is not gonna be an official Galaxy playthrough, but I do, I might plan on doing this game in the future after I get done with Mario 64 on Nintendo Switch Online. I already got this one. If I'm gonna be doing this, it's one of the most fun games 100%. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. I want to stick with Yoshi because he is green and Luigi is my favorite character, so I'll stick with the green guy. It's nice to see that you can actually use the uh, motion of this. You even got player two right there, but that's for something different. That'd be more like for Joy-Cons. Every hundred years, a comet appears on the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. It's gonna be fun trying to play this game with a controller like this. Got a Bowser airship. Well, whenever we see an airship and it's got Bowser's face on the back of it, we all know what that means. Oh, what's Bowser gonna do? Sing the peach? Princess Peach! You are formally invited to the creation of my new galaxy! <laughs> this festival's over! What the heck? What the heck even is that? Oh, I got it. Before us, you know you can go forward, right?
I had to make sure my thing was on the street. Oh my god, when the hell did Bowser ever invest in lasers? How did he invest in the lasers when he probably didn't, when he don't even have that much money? What, did he save up so much from other evil doings that he's like, what, did all those uh, spin-off games, all those Mario Karts and sports games and all that, give him money enough to where he could actually do something like this? Kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? <laughs> or is there like a secret, like, like how, like, is there, a, or is he secretly performing songs that everybody secretly likes, even though they know he's the evil, evil villain of the game? Like, oh, he's a terrible villain. Oh man, he's a scary monster, but I love his singing, by the way. You know, I bet he had his underlings make it for free. Truthfully, he, he would have to discipline him a good amount of times for them to finally get it right, if I had to guess. So long, enjoy your flight. What the heck was that scream? Okay, this in okay, if I'm gonna be honest with you, this intro is totally unoriginal. Why? Because they totally copied Paper Mario. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad intro, I'm just saying it, it's not original. They totally took it from Paper Mario. Hmm. Finally, you're awake! Let's play! Come on, jump with me! Hmm. Let's play hide and seek! If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. Oh, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to fall in, fall in that hole. But I will fall into this one. Ah, found ya! Gotcha! You caught me! Ah, oh, if only I'd hidden in the pipe. So yeah, they will, basically they're going to cheat, they're going to help you cheat by ratting out on their friends. Oh, is there something over here I didn't notice? Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, where's the pipe at? There we go. You caught me! I should have hidden in the grass. Grass. 
That would mean... I hear it, right? <coughs> yeah, right there. If I see any more shiny star bits, I'm gonna be getting them. Gotcha! I can't believe I let myself get caught. Yeah, sure you did. Wow, you caught all of us? Maybe you really can help Mama. Sorry about bringing you here so suddenly. We should probably tell you where you are. There's a connection here to deep space, far from your lands. We call it the Gateway to the Starry Sky. Mama's waiting up above. Please help her with whatever she asks. That depends. Alright, now we're going to be introduced to what is, in my opinion, the best looking princess in the entire Mario series. Princess Rosalina. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. Yeah! You have the ability to spin now. Shake the control stick. You can also spin with Y. Disaster has struck us, just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Stars. May the stars shine down on you. I can hear Madago in the background. I feel like they're out of their cage when they're supposed to be in bed. Shake, or pre shake the Joy-Con or press Y to spin the things that look breakable. You can even spin enemies to stun them. So basically... So basically... Do that. Let us do that, because why not? You will have to shake with the uh, controller when you do those big ones, though. Just saying. <laughs> Hi there, good to see ya. I have some bad news though. See, I had a launch star already for you, but a meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all the starships to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall in the black hole. Yeah, there's the black hole there, and trust me, that animation that they give you whenever you fall into one is very can be kind of scary if you're if you're a young kid. And I don't, speaking of which, I almost fell into it. Ow! Yeah, whoever's yeah, watch for falling rocks here, man. We got it. Let's see, does it say anything before we go in there? Yay! The launch star is ready to go now. Spin the blast off. 
Yeah, as long as I don't accidentally fall. Get me out of here! One of those enemies should have the key! It'll shake the... Yeah, it's gonna tell you what we already know. <coughs> oh, what the hell? That was new. Oh, got the key. My controller's low on battery. James, would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base up there too? I'll transform into a swing star. Just jump into me after I transform! I can't move! There we go. I was just saying, I can't move! been waiting for you that's a grand star we have to save it they're using the grand star to power that awful machine it looks like it's making something we have to do something before the grand star's power is drained quick find a way to stop that terrible machine It's because my PS5 and my Switch controller both have the same ends to them. So I occasionally swap them out to their respective system, whichever one I'm using at that point in time. So, yeah. <laughs> Just give me a second here. There's one good thing about having the same thing there. I think I got everything else on the other side there, so... Turn all the flip switches on the floor to shut down this machine! 
That's what I'm doing, buddy. <coughs> oh, hey, red, white, and blue. How lovely. And this is the hub world. At least part of it, if not completely all of it. Well, we are opening to this house right over here on the left. You got a star. Grand Star Rescue Gateway Galaxy. High score updated. Increase your star to count with... How ironic that it's 64. Discovered a new galaxy. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly. Maybe only as bright as a class 6 star, but at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source, power stars. Our ship has lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. <coughs> Please, I have a request. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. Other, I want to read that again because it did kind of freeze out on me for that. And, and there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the power star you restored, is this one. The Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory's ability to fly like a starship. Then, perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Sure. But I'm going to be restarting this game when I actually do put do a live, a live playthrough of it. So we're going to go over here. We're going to do a few stars because I just got told my phone has 10% battery, battery power left. Welcome! This dome acts as an eye of the observatory. From here we can gaze upon distant galaxies. Once this Luma transforms into a pole star, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your pointer at the pole star and press A. If you lose sight of the star butt of the star of the star pointer, you can reset it with R. If you're playing in handheld mode, you can just tap the star directly on the screen. Which I am not, because obviously I'm playing it on my TV, as you can tell. These are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers represent their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. 
The more power stars you find, the farther you will be able to travel. Good aid galaxy. Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil energy readings are off the charts. Please be careful. Dino Piranha. I'll probably do the three stars to this level and then call it a night if I... If I can. If not, I'll just do as many stars as I can before I have to ultimately end the stream because low batteries are a bitch. For a long time. Need to get in? Use the pipe on the other side. Other side, huh? Liking this music, by the way. Ow. So close. Dude, this is kind of trippy when you play a game for the first time like this. If you're tired, I want to return to the observatory press this. Ah, uh, okay. Ah! 
My friends are ahead, hurry! Well, I'm surprised I did not get hit <coughs> too many times, dude. But we're moving on to Dino. We're moving on. We still got a bit of ways to go, though. I just wanted to see how much battery power I had. Because I did want to do something very special at the end of this. Oh, he's angry! He's angry! Oh. 
Did you just laugh at my pain? There we go, finally. <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't ready for that complete, not entirely, but hey, I've got plenty of odds to work with. I basically just have my life back. You know what? I'm I'm gonna stop there because I really wanted to. I'm actually gonna stop there on that one because I really wanted to. Sh I really wanted to do this a little bit. Now I want to go on record to say that what I'm about to show goes out to the original creator. If you guys want to know exactly who this is by, I'm gonna be playing this clip for a little bit. If you guys like what you're about to see from this other individual, I liked it so much that I'm actually showing it to... Hey, 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 back out of that. Oh, we're not watching what I'm doing here. Can I get your friend code? Can you get my friend code? Yeah, sure, real quick. I did that real quick for you. Friend code is right there. It is 7389-6422-6990. Yeah, so... If you need to pause the stream to get that, so be it. But I really wanted to show this to you guys. Because I think it's really, really awesome what I got here. First of all, that's... Where is it? There it is. All right. 
I'll accept that friend request in a little bit, but for now... Oh, there it is, actually, right here. Oh, I want to... Right here. So, this came around the time when Charles Martinet was, was announced to be stepping down from the role of Mario uh, to become the Mario Ambassador. This is a video that I would highly recommend you guys check it out for yourself. Uh, and if you liked it, you know, give, give the content creator here some props. Because I think this is one of the best tributes I've ever seen in my entire life in anything. Just take a listen and you'll see. Just take a listen, take a look, and you'll see exactly what I mean. Now, I will go on record to say that if I have to, I will take this part down, delete it, delete this part out. But, for the most part... Uh, know that this is not from, this is me letting you guys know about this, because I think you guys should give this guy some credit, because it's really good. Just take a listen. This song is dedicated to Charles Martinet, who has been the voice of a Super Mario for over 30 years now. We love you and appreciate everything you've done. Wahoo! That, which you see right here, that's the channel that created this two weeks ago. <laughs> Give that person some love, guys. They worked so hard on this. All the voices that you heard, he he did the he did he did all of it. He did the Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi. He did them all. 
to say that I, I still think this is one of the best fan tributes to anybody or to anything that I've ever seen before. So give this person some love, guys. This guy deserves it so much. Imagine you being copyrighted for showing that bit. Oh, uh, if I do, I'll delete it. Hey, I said if it comes to it, I'll delete that part. If I have to, I will. But yeah. So, yeah, if I get copyrighted for it, so be it. I'm not going to be flipping out about it. But, you know, but, but plot twist, it's all because of the Nintendo and the staff role from the Super Mario 64. Personally, I find it very interesting that they would actually use that as the instrumentation for this. Uh, for that, you know, happened to my friend external for, uh, reacting to a Mr. Beast vid. That's because people just be like that sometimes. But anyway, so that is what I was saving for last, actually, honestly. I wanted to show off that video from this other person because, honestly, there would be no better way to end this stream than by that, if you ask me. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> with that being the end of it all, that is going to do it for me here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to do this for six hours, but my phone's like, <laughs> no, you're not doing that. So, yeah, with that all being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching this tribute to one of the greatest voice actors of all time, video game, TV, or and movie. And with that being said, hope you guys have a good rest of whatever time, whatever day you're on. Whether you are just starting off like me where you're on, where you're still up at midnight, because why the heck not? Or if you are on the other side of the globe and you are in the afternoon hours. Either way, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And until tomorrow, and until tomorrow night, because I will be taking tonight off because I'm working from 2 to 9.30 so I will probably I think my schedule says I have today off unless I'm doing something uh, tonight which I'll have to double check uh, but for now either way for now ladies and gentlemen thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed and until next time this is Forrest Walpole signing off <laughs>